Hi everybody. So it's no surprise that sometimes life gets stressful and when it does, we hold tension in our body. A couple of the places that we tend to hold that tension are the neck and the shoulders. This is a yoga sequence to target those areas. So stick with me as we relieve, as we work to release tension in the neck and shoulders. As we work to release tension in the neck and shoulders. Hi again, thanks for joining me. For this sequence, you're gonna need a blanket or a towel. We're gonna to use it to sit on and to cushion our knees. It's a very gentle practice. Unwrap your blanket or your towel. Make sure it's not too bulky and come into a simple seated position, whatever that means to your body. If you wanna have the legs tucked in, if you wanna bring the legs out, one leg out, one leg in, whatever feels good for your body. And we're just gonna spend some time with the breath. Once you've settled into your position, make sure you have a nice straight spine. You don't wanna hyperextend it, so you're not trying to be uncomfortable here, but you do want a nice straight spine, like there is a string on the top of your head that somebody is pulling up and just causing you to lengthen upward. just so that energy can flow. The eyes can remain open or you can close them. And then just begin to take some nice, deep, slow, gentle breaths. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the nose. Pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to how it feels to inhale and how it feels to exhale. If your inhale is faster than your exhale or your exhale faster than your inhale, see if you can even those out and inhale and exhale at the same pace. And then allow yourself to come into a nice, normal pattern of breathing, whatever that means for you. And on your next exhale, take a nice deep breath in. On this exhale, let the chin fall towards the chest. And then move the chin towards the direction of that left shoulder, just doing some half moons. And then let that chin move over towards the right shoulder. Breathing normally, just go back and forth. You don't have to tuck the chin really. Just keeping it down, letting it act sort of like a pendulum. Going from left to right. Releasing any tension that you're holding in the shoulders. And then pause with the head at center. Lift the chin, going through some gentle nose. Turn the head towards the left, hold it. And then gently towards the right. Not straining. Not pulling at the neck. Just gently allowing the neck to move, lubricating the tendons. Massaging all the lovely little parts in the neck. And then pause at center, moving through some slow yeses. Drop the head back gently. And bring it down, chin comes in towards the chest. Bringing it back and remembering to breathe. 
And exhaling that chin back down towards the chest, moving at your pace, sinking your breath with your movement. And on the next exhale, pause with the head in a neutral position, moving through your nose again. Nice and easy, head turns from left to right. Pause at center, drop the chin towards the chest, coming into your half moons. Letting the chin be a pendulum. And then pause in the center, lift the head, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale slowly out of the mouth. One more time in. Bring the hands to the knees, round the back, drop the chin in towards the chest. Exhale, straighten the back, a little bit of an arch there. Heart goes towards the front, head goes back. Exhale, round the back, chin in towards the chest. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rounding the back like a letter C. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rounding the back. And after that next exhale, straighten the spine, come into a nice seated position again. Inhale, the arms out to a T. Take them far back, heart goes forward. Exhale, bring the arms in. Right arm goes over left arm. So the el right elbow is crossing over left elbow. Bend the elbows. Hands come back to back. Forms are back to back. You can take the full eagle arm by reaching around and placing those right fingertips in that left palm. Then lift the elbows, pull the shoulders away from you. Nice deep breath in. On the exhale, you can drop the chin. If that doesn't feel good to you, you can keep the chin up. A few breaths here. And remember, you don't have to take the full bind. So to, ha if, to have the hand clasped, are, is uncomfortable for you, then just keep the hands back to back. If the head is lowered, lift it slowly. If the hands are clasped, slowly unclasp them. Open the arms out to a T, send the heart forward. Exhale, close it in. This time left goes over right, bend the elbows. Forms come back to back or take the full clasp. Lift the elbows, pull the shoulders away from you. Full inhale in, on the exhale, drop the head. If the head is lowered, lift it gently, unclasp the hands, open the arms out, send the chest out one more time, nice full breath in. Exhale, bring the arms in and up. Exhale them down and up. Arms come out to a T and down to the mat. Gently roll the shoulders back. 
and then roll the shoulders forward. Open the eyes if they're closed and then make your way onto all fours. Hands and knees, shoulders distance apart. So no dumping down here, pushing the mat away from you, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, creating some space here. Coming into a round of cat cows, inhale, heart goes towards the earth, forehead towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, chin tucks in towards the chest. Inhale, heart towards the earth, forehead towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, chin in towards the chest. Continue in that cycle, but match it to your breath. So at the end of the breath, at the end of the inhale or the end of the exhale, you should be coming to the end of that pose that you're moving into. So try and sink your breath to that movement. After your next exhale, pause in a nice neutral back. Gonna thread the needle. Inhale that left arm up overhead, reaching up, 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 and extending. Exhale, send that arm through the space between the right arm and the right leg, coming gently down onto the shoulder. You can rest the cheek or the forehead down to the mat, whatever is comfortable for the neck. That right arm is gonna bend, extend out, or you're gonna reach out and around, letting that hand rest on the back or the hip, coming into a bind. And then let yourself melt into that. Taking several breaths here. Releasing any tendency to hold yourself up, to stay tense and just let it go. With each breath, your muscles will give more and you're just gonna rest into the pose more and more so your positioning might change. If you're in the bind, come out of it nice and slowly, plant that hand down onto the mat, push yourself up onto all four, same thing, other side. So you're gonna stay in this position. I'm going to turn so you can see me better. This time, extend right arm up towards the ceiling, full inhale in. When you're ready on your exhale, send it through that space between the arm and the leg, coming gently down onto that shoulder, resting either the cheek or the forehead down to the mat. Left arm bends, extends out, or reaches out and around taking the bind, breathe here, let yourself melt into it. If you're in that bind, bring that arm down nice and slowly, planting it down onto the mat, pushing yourself up onto all fours. At this point, you can come back, remove your blanket or your towel, whichever one you're using, and then make your way all the way down onto your belly. Forearms are flat in front of you, coming into your sphinx pose. At this point, they're about shoulders distance apart, but then we're gonna bring them in just a touch. So the hands aren't touching, they're still about a hand's distance apart. If it's hard on the lower back, tuck the toes under or bend the knees slightly, or you can put that blanket back under the stomach if you need a little extra support. Wherever you are, be there comfortably. From here, you're gonna lift the hands so that you're on the elbows. 
then place that left hand down in front of that right elbow. Reach that right hand across to the left corner of the mat and slide that left hand to the right corner of the mat. So your arms are in a crisscross. Nice deep breath on the exhale, sink down, let the chin rest on the arms. If you need more of a twist, more of a bind, then walk those right fingertips out, walk those left fingertips out, putting yourself deeper into the twist. Take that deep breath, exhale the head down onto the arms to rest. Take several breaths here. Release any tendency you have to hold on, to keep yourself up and just let the body melt as it wants to with each breath. Nice and easy, bend that right elbow, bringing it over the left arm. Pull the left arm back, come back into your sphinx pose, repositioning the body. Arms are a little bit closer in, then shoulders distance apart, then lift the elbows. This time right hand goes in front of left elbow, left hand reaches to the right corner of the mat. Right hand reaches out to that left corner of the mat. Same thing, just opposite side. Nice deep breath in, on the exhale, rest the head. If you need more of the twist, more of the bind, walk the hands further out and off the mat. Wherever you are, be there comfortably, make sure the breath flows. Lift the head gently, bend that left arm, bring it down, and then slide that right arm back, coming into your sphinx pose. Then open the arms out so that left hand comes to left edge of the mat, right hand to right edge of the mat. Lower the body down, lower the forehead down. You can stay here or you can send the arms back, palms facing up. And then wherever, whatever position you take, slowly start to rotate the head from left to right on the forehead. Just gently doing some nose, left to right. It's not a big movement. It's a small, gentle movement. And then pause at center. Take some deep breaths here. Just let the body totally become heavy. If it feels better to have the arms here, have the arms along the side. And if it feels better to rest the hands underneath the forehead, take that pose too. Whatever your body needs, take it. Release tension from anywhere you're holding it, trying to hold yourself up or be firm. Let yourself just melt into the mat. Gently lift the head. If the hands are not already there, bring them alongside the chest and then push yourself up to tabletop. Walk the hands back. Come into a nice seated position, whatever is comfortable for you and your body. You can keep the eyes closed if it suits you. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand just above the navel. Take a minute to breathe here, to be in your body.
You may bring your hands to heart center if it suits you and open the eyes. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Please feel free to repeat the sequence as many times and as often as you need it. I hope you don't need it much. Wishing you peace, blessings, and prosperity. Until next time.